G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna have another go with the 3D flower technique or, or recipe, but um, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Instead of adding my alcohol ink to my paste, I'm gonna put the alcohol ink in first and then drop the paste on top. Now there was a lady, um, I don't know her name, but she's Maddie Art. And I don't know if I don't know if you've got a YouTube channel, Maddie Art, but uh, she did this gorgeous pink flower. And I said to her, "Oh, how did you do that?" And she said, "Oh, well, she dropped the paste on the ink." So I don't really know how she did it. I haven't seen how she did it, but I'm going to have a little play and see if I can maybe create something equally as beautiful. Now I'm using the platinum. Ultra and my resin has been sitting in here for 20 minutes I am going to pipe I'm still going to pipe but at 45 minutes so what I want to do now this is what I've been doing when it starts getting really warm then I need to pour it into the mold so that it, it stops heating up so I'm going to put I'm going to take 30 grams out and put it into my little cup and that'll be my, it'll be for my white and I probably won't even need that but I'll just do 30. So do 30 grams which is one ounce and then five drops of the cast and craft white. 28, 29, 30. Okay so that can just sit there for a minute. Um, oh I haven't got any for my Glitter, hang on, I need a cup for my glitter. I've got a stir stick for it, but I didn't get a, didn't get a cup. So I ordered these. These are from, um, these are Doris. Got them from Amazon. Lots of different colours, and I pulled out the pink one today. Because I'm going to do pink petals. So that's it there. How do we open it? Oh, it's like a little, it's got two little flips on the top. Oh, hang on, I've got to take the... Whoa, it's got, um, oh goodness me, it's got paper underneath. How do I get that out now? How do you get the paper out? Maybe with a skewer. Now I've made a big mess everywhere. Okay, well see this is the first time I've used that. So you've got to take the little bit of paper out and then put it back. <laughs> Look at my glitter everywhere. Okay, and then it's got two little flip things, so you can get a lot out or you can get a little out, but let's just, let's just get a lot out. Well, not a lot, but I don't need a lot. It's only a tiny little coaster. Well, it's not tiny. It's 13 centimeters across, so not huge, and I'm just going to put enough resin in there just to make a little paste. Let's see how that goes. I can move my scale now. We'll get the glitter off it in a minute. Mm, needs a tiny bit more. I'll probably put too much resin in it because it's such a tiny little amount. So I did this experiment the other day when I was doing my glitter center. And what I did was I pulled the stick through and counted. One, two, three, four. It's closed up already see that after four seconds when I leave it till it's about 45 minutes when I do that it takes like 10 seconds for that line to close up it's just something that I thought oh I wonder if you know if it is thickening up and and yes it is so I'm gonna let that sit there and I'm gonna come back I'm gonna pour the rest into my coaster and then um, yeah as I said I'm gonna come back in another 20 minutes and I'm going to well actually I'm going to come back in 15 minutes because by the time I get started and um, I want to start actually pouring my white on at tw in another 25 minutes well in 25 minutes uh, so 45 minutes all up I'm not making myself very clear am I I waited 20 minutes started the video I've poured my resin in there now I'm going to wait another well, I'm going to wait another 20 minutes so that my 45 minutes is up. I'm just pouring that back in there now because 
that's going to be that's quite deep like it was almost half full so and I don't want it getting really hot so I'm going to pour that back in there and it can just sit in there for now and it can sit there and in the meantime I'll go and clean up my glitter mess just torch this get some bubbles out and you can see the bubbles trapped around the edge there so if you use your little skewer around the edge a lot of times it'll actually dislodge the bubbles and uh, bring them up to the surface so that you can torch them but you do have to be really careful not to torch too closely or you'll burn your you'll melt your silicone and then your resin will get stuck to it yeah I've done that a few times you know I'm, I'm still really really new to resin so I'm, I'm learning and I have yes I've melted a few molds I must say but what do they say you have to break eggs to make an omelet yep you got to melt molds to, <laughs> to learn how to do resin no you try not to but yeah they do right now that can just sit there I'm already um, I'll be back in about 15 minutes and um, we'll do the next step. So see you then. Right, I am back. And it's three, we've got three minutes to go before the 45 minutes is up. Now I want to show you this. Remember how last time when I dragged the stick through it closed up in like three seconds? All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10. So there we go. As you can see the difference. Like it takes much longer to close up. So it's it's thickened up now. So let's do our little centre. I've got a dot on the other side of my coaster. I measured it out so I know where my centre is. <laughs> I'm not going to spread it too much. Sometimes when I swirl it like this, I spread it a bit too much. So I don't need very much. Just a little pink center. See, I've still got some left. Didn't need it all. Dog's barking. I've got my studio door open today because I thought they won't bark but they did. Right, let's move everything out of the way. Now, um, I'm going to pour this back into my little cup. So, you can see, look at that. See, I don't know if you can see. See how it's leaving a mound now? So it's much thicker than it was. And it stayed nice and cool because I've put it back into this wide-mouthed container instead of leaving it in the little cup, which it would be then quite deep. But being in here, yeah, it's probably only this, this deep instead of being much, much deeper. So once I've got all that out, I'll just wipe it with my paper towel and get most of the resin out. Clean my stick. This is my stir stick. Give it a clean. I can use it again. And I'll just clean the inside of my little bowl. And then I can use that again. Get another piece. And that's all I do to clean it out. And there we go, ready for tomorrow. Let me just throw this away. And then I can wipe my sticky hands. I've got a baby wipe here. get most of the resin off so that I'm not picking up too much sticky stuff. Okay, so the cast and craft that's going into the 30 grams here. And I'm going to do five drops. One, two, three, four, five. And I don't have a stir stick because I used the stir stick for my centre, didn't I? Another stir stick. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've got lots of little stir sticks. I've got these ones. I've got three different sizes actually. Where are they? 
three different size stir sticks that I use. But these are good for these little cups. That's all you need. Give that a stir. Now, I hope this works. And I'm not sure if I should actually use the cup and pipe or whether I should maybe just drip. I'll have a little look. I'll, I'll just see if I can drip onto here and see what happens. Give that a really good stir though. Make sure that your pigment's all mixed in really well. And it's off the stick as well. You don't want any unmixed pigment in there. Okay, so what happens if I actually grab a little bit? Can I drop it down just like a drop? Whoop. Oh yeah, that works. Okay, let's not use that then. I'll use that at another time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some of the darker pink. This one's called magenta. I'm going to do some of it around the inside. And then this one's just called pink. So it's a bit lighter. And I'll do that more on the outside so uh, it's not very centered never mind <laughs> now I don't know I really don't know what to do with this so I'm just going to I'm just going to drop some I'm just going to drop some ink in there like that and let's try some of the lighter one around the outside I do spread quite a bit as far as I know with the ink so I haven't done a lot of working with ink now in here I think I'll just kind of see if I can blend the two have some light and some dark okay that looks about enough doesn't it I have no idea but let's just, whoa, dropped it. Where did it go? Oh, it's gone under the table. I'll have to get it later. Problem with gloves on, everything's not, not, not so easy to hold. Okay, so now I'm just going to basically, whoops, I'm gonna kind of drop. Why is that sitting on top? Maybe there's something wrong with that ink. It's kind of got a skin on it, which is weird. So basically just adding a little bit of white randomly on top here. It's kind of got like a skin on it on top of the, the ink. Strange. So just plonking it on. Doesn't really matter if it's not terribly neat. I'm going to be pulling my stick through it. So I'm not fussed if it's not exactly where I need it to be. I'm not sure how much I should use either. Oops, that's the pink. Oh, I really need the dark one. Hang on, I'm going to have to go underneath the table and find it. Where did it go? Oh, where did it go? Oh my gosh. It's not under the table. Where did it go? I don't even know where it went. I can't see it. Oh gosh, all right. It's going to put some in the center there. And just put a little bit of that there. I've got some empty spaces there, so I'm just going to put a little bit more ink in. I knew where my bottle's gone. Seriously, I don't know where it is under there. Must have bounced maybe and gone somewhere else. I'll 
find it later. Okay, so I think that's enough. Now let's um, let's just see what we can do here. It's got this weird skin on top. I don't understand why. Maybe it's like setting too fast. Basically just pulling it in, pushing it out. We'll just see what happens, hey? And there's a bit of a blob, so let's just go through the blob. I don't want blobs. I don't think this is very successful, you guys. Um, Alright, let's loosen that one. It's touching the side. Now, I'm going to give it a bit of a torch. Yeah, that was weird because it's got like a, a skin on the top of the resin. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. Alright, anyway, let's just heat it and see what happens. Give it a bit of a torch, a little bit of a heat there. And again, I'm going to just blow from the outside in, just as I would normally do, um, and we'll just see what happens. Like, hopefully, we'll get to some random petal kind of formations. Uh, I really don't know; not sure at all. But I think it's a it's a start, and uh, we'll see what happens. Looks like my glitter spread. I have no idea. It's going to have to wait on this one and, and um, see how it turns out. So, and then I can I can go from there. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll just um, wait and see what happens, and then I can work on it. I guess if it doesn't work particularly well, I can try something different on the next one. So, all right, stay tuned. Um, I don't think I'm going to do a top coat on it. Um, it's just because I've never done this before and I don't want to waste any more resin. I can't get my gloves off. Um, so we'll see what happens. See what happens. Focus. Is that focusing? Okay. Um, we'll see you tomorrow for the unmolding. Well, actually, probably be tonight. I'm probably can unmold it tonight. Right. See you then. Hope it works. Hey guys, it's only been a few hours and this is really not ready to come out, but I am really keen. Like it was just a, a little spur of the moment experiment and I'm not really expecting it to work. And I wasn't going to video it, I was just going to do it for me and then I thought, well, I better video it just in case it works. Like it's still really soft. It doesn't even want to come out on that side. But as I said, I'm way too keen to see what it's going to look like. So even though it's still soft, I don't think it's really going to, to work. It doesn't look very nice on this side. I've got something drying just over there where I normally stand. So I can't even use that one. But anyway, um, without further ado... I wonder if it's going to be white or whether it's going to be pink because there's a lot of pink on the back. I guess because the ink dropped. Oh, I don't know. Let's just let's just get it over with, okay? One, two, three. Oh, okay. Well, that's um, that's not bad, is it? Okay. Yeah, that's what I was kind of after. Kind of a. Just a, a messed up, maybe like a carnation. You know how the carnations have got just that clump of little, little petals? Oh, I don't know. I can't really bring you in that close. Yeah, the clump of little petals, a whole heap of them. What do you think? I've got some light pink and some dark pink. It's still sticky. I shouldn't have taken it out yet. <laughs> now I don't know what to do with it. There you go. It's okay, isn't it? I'll be doing some more experiments with this particular technique. 
got a little bit of fly away of my my glitter there but it's not too bad colors could be better but like I said it's the first time I will improve on it I just wanted to see what would happen basically if I did it like that and now I know so I will I'll do some work on it and see if I can improve on it and I'll bring you along for the ride on a little experiment all right thanks for watching you guys um, I don't know. Well, I do a. I'm not going to take it outside and do a photo shoot and all that. I'll take a photo of it so I've got something to put up, but I'm not going to go to too much trouble because it was just like a little experiment. Okay. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.